Can you tell us your name and tell us about your project? Yes, uh, my name is Brett Bolton, and today I will be talking about the Mickelson Morley experiment. Okay, what were you guys trying to do or to find out? The purpose of this experiment was to prove the existence of the lum luminiferous ether. This ether is a hypothesized medium, and um, the idea was that this medium would allow light to travel through space. And the idea of this behind this medium was that just as water must have a medium to move across water, and audible sound waves must have a medium to travel through air, light must also have a medium as well. To do this, we created the Mickelson Interferometer, which consisted of a light source, a half-silvered glass plate, two mirrors, and a telescope. And so, the way this device worked was we would have a light source traveling through a half-silvered glass plate in the middle. The light would travel directly through and ricochet to the top off of two different mirrors. And these mirrors were reflected back towards the glass silver plate and down to a light sensor. And the idea was that for this to work and there to be an ether, these, light, these two light sources would reach the sensor at two different times. Through this experiment, we were unable to prove this as the light reached the sensors at the same time. Where did the project or experiment occur? Mickels, Albert Mickelson began working on this project in 1881. However, the project was officially over and completed at Case Western Reserve University in Cleveland, Ohio in 1887. He had much better equipment to use and work with there, and, and he also had Morley and myself there to assist him. What other significant events were happening around the world at that time? Well, um, Thomas Edison just patented the kinetoscope, which is a device uh, which produces moving pictures. The Yala River in China um, just recently flooded, and it killed as many as two million people in that flood. U.S. Congress just created the Electoral Count Act to avoid dispute in any elections to come. Work began on the Eiffel Tower in Paris, and in Puxatawney, Pennsylvania, they just had their first Groundhog Day. Okay. Who else was involved in the project? Um, it was Albert Mickelson, Edward Morley, and myself. And we had a few other assistants come in and help, but. Um, none of major importance to the project. Okay. What was your role in the project? I worked as an assistant to Mickelson and Morley. Um, I did many small, tedious jobs, did a lot of calculations, and um, I worked a lot with the Mickelson interferometer, um, helping set it up, helping create it, come up with the idea for it, and even help make small adjustments to it as we went through our project experiment. Okay. What impact did your project have on the physics community? Okay. Um, the results of this experiment played an important role in Einstein's special theory of relativity. We were also able to determine the speed of light through this experiment using our um, Mickelson interferometer. Um, we calculated that to be have an error of about 30 miles per hour, maybe over or under the, the actual speed of light. And the negative result of this experiment as a whole opened the door for an alter alternative explanation for the stray, str <laughs> strange wave-like behavior of light. Um, since we were able to prove that the have good evidence that the um, luminiferous ether does not exist. Would you consider this project an overall success? I would. Um, a lot of people have referred to this project as the most famous failed experiment. Um, not only that, um, Albert Mickelson went on to win a Nobel Prize for his work on this experiment in 1907, and he actually became the first American physicist to do so. Um, so yes, overall, I think with all the 
contributions this project has made, I believe that this project was a huge success, although it was a failure.